morning. Nah. So, you know, there was, there was something uh, Baroness Maggie said to me the other day, which kind of, you know, he was talking, uh, uh, Kucinich was talking about the insurance companies. And just to give you an idea of how it works, uh, so she, Maggie's amazing. She has like 8 million cats and three huge dogs. Uh, I'm, I, I don't know. They're the St. Bernard's, I think. I think they're St. Bernard's. St. Bernard, you know, you, nobody has three St. Bernard's. Baroness Maggie has three St. Bernard's. You know, with like the the rum underneath their chin and everything. Yeah, they drool a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, one will kill you. That's Sherman. Uh, <laughs> we we stay. Sherman stays behind the fence. Sherman is very crazy. He's a buzzkill. He's very cranky. And the other two, you know, like you go in and like they're so happy to see you, but it hurts when when she's sniffing your crotch. She's like, boom. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so anyway, so Maggie is uh, crazy about animals, and. Uh, and she's saying, you know, you know, especially with dogs, you got to take them to the vet. She said, it got all of a sudden, my vet bills went through the roof, and she she tried to figure out why the veterinarians all of a sudden were asking so much money for their treatment. Do you know what it is? It's when they started offering insurance for your pets. Yeah. So everyone no, now this gets insurance. This is this is a, a, a kind of a this is the biggest scam, and I mentioned this on the show before. I'm going to do it one more time. I, I'm on an insurance plan, and I track the drug costs, the price of various drugs. And once the Obamacare went in, the, dr- the drugs that used to cost like 50 or $100, let's say, that you would only pay 10 bucks for because it, it came out of the insurance. The insurance co- company paid an extra 90 bucks. All of a sudden, went to 300 bucks. Yeah. You still paid the 10 bucks, yeah. but now the insurance companies are gouged for the rest of it, this is the reason why people out there who are all, you know, we should fend for ourselves. We should either get rid of the insurance companies and let things go back to a 100% free enterprise, free market, and get no insurance except for, you know, catastrophes. None of this bull crap copay garbage, which is what's killing us. Or go to single payer where somebody, one person in the government says, hey, this is too expensive. Forget it. She also said that they have uh, credit cards at the doctor. So if you can if you if you're not on the insurance scam, then uh, they'll give you a credit card with like you know eighteen uh, percent interest, and if you miss a payment, it's thirty. But this is so it's analogous to the scam that is the insurance industry for what you're talking about. For for no wonder we're sniffing bath salts. Yeah, I need to up my Abilify here. It's a complete ripoff, and nobody's doing anything about it. The Democrats are also happy that they've made people buy insurance, which makes the scam worse. Yeah. And the Republicans have no solution to this. As far as they're concerned, it should be kind of half insurance, half non-insurance, let people die on the streets, seriously. Yeah. And, and so both parties are, are not addressing this at all. You know, one side is, oh, you know, we should just be able to, you know, too, too bad if you if you can't afford it. Or, you know, yeah. pay too much. It's hey, one of the two. It's ridiculous. Yeah, let your dog die. Well, no, the, the veterinarian <laughs> thing is going completely out of control. Yeah. She says, uh, I was just looking at the chat room. The Baroness says $1,200 for an x-ray on her St. Bernard. <laughs> really? Yeah. That is a total scam. Yeah. It's, it, you just take them through the airport. It's free. Squirrel. <laughs> 